Heidi ho there neighborinos! We're on our way over to the new house to hopefully do a lot of electric. That's what I want to do, like tons upon tons of electric. But here's, here's what I'm doing though, because the last two days haven't worked out the way that I thought they were going to. I'm just gonna say that today is not gonna work out because yesterday and the day before I was like, I feel really good about this, totally gonna be easy and we're gonna do it, we're gonna have so much done by the end of the day. And then like yesterday we literally got nothing done at the house. But today we're not gonna get anything done. Hi, Florida. Just saw a dude riding a motorcycle and texting. Seems safe. Yes. God, your pool. At least look at this. It's like you can see it, like cleaning. That's good. We need to put like 10 more of those in there. I know, 10 more of these jets? Yeah. I don't know why there's not any more. And they have, we have two, one on either uh, thing here. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I should show you. This is like a neat feature of our pool. Check this out. Oh yeah. Yeah, jacuzzi seat. Yeah. I just I don't have it like turned on very high right now, but I, if I close the other one that's blowing here, it'll really be jacuzzi-ish. That'll also help make it cooler in the summer. Oh, look at that. You see that little little peeing thing over there at the bottom of the slide? Yeah. What is that? I don't know why it's there. It's like an aerator, I guess. And if I really wanted to, I could close off those the things that are bubbling, and then it'll spray out these top ones. Check this out. If I close off this one, it sprays out like that. Where? Right here. See it next to my hand? Oh yeah, look at that. They're like little little fountains. Yeah, that would aerate the pool and make it cooler. We could have fish in there. Yeah. <laughs> We're going out to the, go under the attic there now, see? Mm -hmm. I was trying to do like, I'm an old prospector. <laughs> We're out looking for some adventure. Or something, you know. I don't know these things. Here's my new toy. This is, uh, this is it. That's going to make it so that I can attach the drill to that end. And I can spin it. And then it drills. And hopefully that works. Yay! Which it should. I'm going to go nice and slow. This is a brand new Forstner bit, so it's super sharp. And hopefully it goes through my, because the this house is built like, they don't, they don't build them like they used to, see? The wood is like super hard, so it's very difficult to get through and I have to drill at least four holes right now to get the wires from upstairs over to here. My glasses are already starting to fog up. Oh no. But it's all the way up underneath the eave of the house. This thing is seven and a half inches. I think I only have six and a half. So that right there is, I have to tilt it a little bit to try to get it in there or like this. So. We'll see how it works. Hopefully it still does. It's better than the entire drill that I had before that was like, you know, this big. And then I brought this too, which is my little piece of wood that I'm gonna stick up there with me so that I can lay on it. Cause yesterday, I know I, I feel like I let, left you guys out of everything that was happening yesterday. Yesterday, I was uh, up in the attic and I've got like bruises all on my hips and everything from laying across the, the ceiling joists because I can't stand on like the plaster. If I stood there, it would fall through. So I have to stand in between and because I was trying to get away from me and like really far down, it was very painful because I had to lay across all these things in the insulation and everything. So I bought this board to hopefully make it easier. It's just, I'm sorry, I'm like laughing over here because you, um, you, I can't see your mouth move. Yeah. So it's just really weird. I could, I could like voice over anything. <laughs> oh, you should do it. <laughs> uh, we were talking about how I might have to put my beard in a ponytail. I didn't bring a hair tie. Well, oh, I can stick it up in there. This is what I look like without a beard. Is that weird? Yeah. Is it just like sticking out everywhere? It just looks like weird, gross pube hair down yeah. here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's so awful. That's my neck beard. <laughs> All right, I'm going up. This is one of the reasons that we're redoing the electric. This is knob and tube. That's a bare wire that was just up in our attic. Oh, don't fall. Yeah, it's all good. So that at any point could have shocked huh. anybody or anything. Did an animal do that? No, that's just from being old. Oh, damn. Plus that, and there's like every once in a while, there's these little posts right there. These ceramic posts that the wire goes through, and that's just the way that they ran it. And that also, because it clamps down on the wire, that made it so that it would degrade there, which you can see it's kind of doing it right there. You feel a little bit sick from all the insulation blowing around, so it's better that I wear a mask. I just hate wearing them. They're terrible. All right, I'm going in. Well, it's already hot. 
Bye. Bye. He just burped into his mask. I can't breathe. It's soaked in sweat. Wow. Are you okay? Yeah. It just feels good to be able to breathe. You are like literally dripping sweat. Yeah, it's very hot up there. Oh no. Uh, Should we cut a hole in the roof so you, <coughs> so you have some air? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm back home, showered, good to go. Uh, I did make it through the top plate, but I think I did it in the wrong spot. I wasn't able to get the wire to go down very far, but then when I got home, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, like, how could I do this? And then I realized if I had taken one wire out of the pack of three wires, and just tried to feed that and then attach the big pack of three wires to that one wire and pull it through. If it went through, that would have been easy. I forgot, I didn't think of that when I was up in the attic. So maybe tomorrow we'll try that first. If not, then we'll drill a, hole, a different hole in a different spot to try to get through. Still like two other holes that I have to drill that are up close to the, the wall like that. It's not gonna be fun, not gonna be fun at all. But we have to go and buy some groceries at the Sam's and we have to make some bread because I'm having like my work Thanksgiving Day thing tomorrow and I have to make bread for it. So we're gonna use the bread machine. We're gonna make some holiday cinnamony apple bread and hopefully it'll be delicious. It sounds delicious, but we've never made it before. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be delicious. Oh, and I think I sprained the heck out of my finger. It's like super fat now and it hurts to bend it. Look what we found on sale at Target for $2 and we're gonna make, I'm sorry, there's a crazy glare on it. <laughs> This is gonna be awesome. Although the s'mores look delicious, we're not gonna get them because it doesn't include icing. We are gonna get these, however, because they're also on sale for $2 and it requires less things. It just requires butter and water and it's like cookies. All right, we're gonna make some applesauce cinnamon bread in our bread maker. And you only need a couple of things. Applesauce, milk, flour, cinnamon, salt, brown sugar, butter, and yeast. And that's all you will need. All right, let's get started. One third cup applesauce. One cup of milk and two and a half cups of flour. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Mmm, cinnamon. One teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of butter, and one and a half teaspoons of dry yeast. That's it. And that will produce apple cinnamon bread. Mix bread mix. So you're gonna put it on your mixed bread, medium or light. We use light because that's what I use for everyday bread. And you just put it right in your bread maker and it'll make bread in four hours. You'll have some apple sauce cinnamon bread. Making cookies. How'd you make it? It was pretty easy. <laughs> it was the mix and three tablespoons of butter and two tablespoons of water. And then you have cookies. And then you spoon it all together? Yep. It's it says. supposed to look just like that. It's premium cookie mix. This is for fancy people. Yeah. Ooh, you fancy. Oh, so here's the cookies. They look so perfect, and it's all because Tim's mom bought us this really awesome cookie shoveler thing. It's like a melon baller, but... But it's for cookies. Here's my favorite thing, is on every box of cookie dough or every tube of cookie dough, they're like, do not consume raw or uncooked cookie dough. <laughs> Such a rebel. That's how zombie apocalypse starts, by the way, it's cookie dough. Yeah. Um, I actually read this thing that was pretty scary that um, they said that the zombie apocalypse is pretty plausible because there are so many different brain parasites that uh, it, it will happen one day. I thought it was because of uh, rabies. No, I thought it was brain parasites because that's what the internet said. Oh. And probably raw cookie dough. Never believe what the internet tells you, Abraham Lincoln. I wanted to show you guys the ridiculousness that is my finger. Yeah, it's pretty swole. It's like it's doing muscle exercises. It's got that swole. I mean, your fingers are pretty big to begin with. Like, they're pretty wide yeah. as far as fingers go. But this one is definitely... Ah! <laughs> no. Just kidding. It's totally fine. You can squeeze it and stuff. Do it. No, I'm going to hurt you. That actually hurt really bad. Did it? Yeah. Oh, no! But, I mean, it's fine. You can... <laughs> All I know is that Jen brought me over a plate of cookies. And as it turns out, I think it was half of the cookies. And I ate all of them. I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to my finger hurts. Pay the price.